السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم This chapter is uh, regarding the greatness of um, showing one another affection, uh, love, mercy, and you know, the um, honor of the believer and how to uh, respect that. We'll do a few narrations from this chapter before we move to the next chapter. Uh, for today's narration, we'll just look at these two. Once Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu, he narrates that once the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he kissed Hassan ibn Ali radiallahu anhu, his grandson, he kissed him. So nearby was a sahabi, Aqra bin Habis. He was there. So Aqra said, you know, إِنَّ لِي عَشَرَةً مِنَ الْوَلَدِ that I have ten children, ma qabbaltu minhum ahadam. That I never kissed a single one of them. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam looked at him, and he gave a very straightforward answer and a asul, you know, a principle for all of us to keep in mind that man la yarham la yurham. That a person who doesn't show mercy will not be shown mercy, right? And you know, of course, the obvious understanding of this is that if a person doesn't show mercy to the creation, if a person doesn't show mercy to, you know, those who are under him or her, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not show mercy to that person. But I, I explained this, I think it was last Jummah or the Jummah before as well, that some scholars even give the um, explanation that if you do not show mercy, it's in, in a sense, you're not teaching uh, compassion, you're not teaching mercy, you're not teaching love, loved, uh, sorry, you're not teaching love, so when you get older, do not expect any love or respect or compassion back. Many times what happens is, we, you know, we, are, we act, you know, tough, or, you know, you know we, we try to do things that are, subhanAllah, you know, in a, in a manner that is against the sunnah or opposite to the sunnah, and then later on, when, and many people have this complaint that they get older and they're looking for you know, assistance or they're looking for help or they're on the chair or they're on a wheelchair and then they're looking for those same children who they never taught any love, who they never taught any compassion, they never taught any of that, then they're looking for that compassion and love back. But if you didn't teach it, then how do you expect to get it back in return? And subhanAllah, we'll just look at the next narration because it's uh, very similar. Uh, Aisha radiallahu anha, she narrates that uh, some people from uh, the, the Bedouins, some of the Bedouins, they came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they asked, you know, and they were, the Bedouins were such that they would just, you know, say anything, right? They, there wasn't like a certain type of adab or etiquette that they would use. They were very like open, uh, you know, you can, like a dihati you can say, right? Atu qabbiluna sibyanakum, do you, you know, do you kiss your children? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Naam? Yes. They said, Lakinna wallahi ma No, we, wallahi, we never, we never do that. No? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam straightforward, he told them, Awa amliku in kan Allahu naza'a min qulubikum ar-rahma? That, what can I do if Allah took the mercy from your heart? You know, if the mercy has been taken from your heart, how is that my fault? What, what can I do? There's nothing... Meaning that this is not something to boast. You're not flexing like, oh, you know, I'm such a, you know, alpha person. You're not showing mercy. It's showing that the mercy and that, uh, that love and compassion that's supposed to be in your heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took that away. So this is a reminder for all of us that there is the, the sunnah and the etiquette of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is always the way of mercy, compassion, showing love. And this is the way, the only way that is the, you know, the, the manner that works. You know, we, I know, you know, maybe I'm, uh, because I'm speaking to a lot of people from, you know, India, Pakistan, I know we have that different mindset sometimes, where, you know, there's no love, there's no, you know, um, the father never tells his kid, you know, I love you. It's only like, beta, and he just raises the hand, or, you know, picks up the chapel, and the person's supposed to be straight, or I'm going to count to three, and that's it, 
right? But this is not, you know, this is not the, the way, right? Of course, there is discipline in its, in its, you know, in its place, right? But at the same time, the, if you look at the way Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was with his daughters, was with his wives, was with, was with any, even the chi any child in the town, we will see, if we look into the seerah, we will see it's a completely different way. You know, I can't remember which Sahabi it was, but with this, one of the Sahabi, he would mention that the Prophet ﷺ was such that any child walking around in the streets of Medina, they could just hold his hand and just take him wherever they wanted and he would just follow along. This is the Prophet ﷺ. He is busy. He has lots of things to do. He might have some, some you know, uh, group from or delegation from some country waiting for him. He's not like, okay. Tell Bhagyan and say, get out of here, I got things to do, right? It's, this, is, this is how we act. Like, oh, come back later. The, the child is trying to show us something like, I'll look at it later, it's okay. You know, you know go. You know, SubhanAllah. But the Prophet ﷺ is a completely different person. But may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to bring those qualities into our life and, 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 and our families as well. I mean, wa akhud da'wan alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah, ashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. اللهم انت السلام منك السلام وتبارك يا الجلال والإكرام ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك وغضبك والنار اللهم ادخلنا الجنة بغير حساب اللهم ادخلنا الجنة بغير حساب وتوفنا مسلمين غير خزايا ولا ندامة ولا مفتونين سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين